What is up, guys? It's been a while. I've been uh, all over the world doing crazy stuff. I know. But we're back, and I wanted to publish a couple of different videos for you guys over the next few days. And today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the iPhone SE 3 and what I think about it. And um, the short answer is, if you like the iPhone SE 2, um, or you've had an iPhone 8 and you just love the home button and you hate Face ID, then this phone is 100% for you. If you're not pixel popping and you don't care about that it's not a 2K or 4K display and you don't really need a wide-angle camera and you're okay with just the single shooter, with the 5G, which is not ultra-wideband but just mid-band access, this is a very viable, good option. And there's crazy deals on this phone right now. The phone is already pretty decently mid-range priced. You know, it's starting at 400 or so dollars. But you could pick this thing up right now at T-Mobile, I think, for 30 bucks If you trade in, say, your SE2 or an iPhone 8 or something like that. And um, you'll pay $30 for this phone over the next two years. And this phone will definitely last for that. It has the current generation processor, it has the A15 in the uh, in the device. There are some things that I wish Apple would have done to made the SE3 a little better, but I think it would have cannibalized other sales. Like, do we need just a regular camera? Just like, just just put the wide angle camera on there. There's no sense to put the regular camera on there, right? Just just throw the wide angle on it and call it a day. And if this thing had the wide angle camera on it, it would be my everyday daily phone now. One of the things I love about this though, if you've already had an iPhone 8 or an iPhone SE 2, is all of your cases like my OtterBox cases, the my um, um, Armadillo cases, Armadillo Tech cases, um, you know, there's just the speaking cases, all the different cases that I've had for the SE2 and iPhone 8 that are what, five years old, six years old now, they still all work with this. I love it. I don't have to buy new accessories. I've had this out of box case forever. I literally throw it on here. It's out of box commuter case, by the way. Um, I just throw this out of box case on the SE3 and keep it moving. Um, I do notice though, and I don't know if they, if it's just software, the camera at least in photos and videos, even though there's no wide angle, the video looks to be a little more wide than the SE2. Not much, it's just a little bit, It's and it can be subjective, but I, I can see more stuff in the frame, like on an auction yard when I film with this phone. And I noticed um, that the video and audio quality that comes out of this is also better than the SE2. Now, if you're not a, a video creator, you're not going to notice this. You're not going to care. But it was something I wanted to bring up and bring to your attention. So um, what do I think about it? It's a great little backup phone. And for somebody like me, I carry two iPhones usually. Uh, usually the, the 13 Pro Max and or, you know, I've had my iPhone XS forever. Um, so that's always in my pocket. Because it's, you know, it's the phone that's got all my contacts. I've never deleted the phone. Like, it's that's that's my jam, right? Um, but when I just want to carry the smaller phone, like if I'm using a bigger phone like the S22 Ultra, I can just pop this in my pocket. And I have my access to my iMessage and everything else I need. And I have my S22 Ultra to keep it moving. So, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one.